Hello, here's a video of me trying to take the screen out of a, another Sony laptop. This one's an SVE 171811M, otherwise also known as an SVE 1711R1EB laptop. So, first thing is, there are definitely screws underneath these little squidgy bits on the screen. And I'm hoping there aren't screws, Ooh, that's cra cracked anyway, but uh, I'm hoping there aren't screws under there, because that will be a real pain in the bum to get to. There are screws under those. And apparently it's very easy to lose those rubber feet in between rubber foot extracted. Right, is it possible to get to these without having to take the whole screen off? Yes, if you've got a small enough screwdriver, it does look like it. it's possible. Oh, there's a real screw and rubber feet trap down there, so watch out for that. Okay, it feels like there's some kind of glue down the down this bit. Yeah, definitely glue. Good one, Sony.
Okay, unusual design on the uh, on this though, where you've got that which doesn't have. I oh, know, there we go. The customer's obviously broken it, so, uh, and in fact, it's cracked over that side as well. So, there's normally two of these little bits there. Anyway, we are nearly into getting the screen out of it. Right. You're probably supposed to undo those down there and hinge it away, but I'm uh, lazy, so I'm going to just go straight onto the side screws. Right, this is where the entire screen will become floating, so I don't want it to fall over and do damage to any of the cables. Right, we've got the connection up to the webcam up there that needs undoing. Looks a bit like it's uh, got tape over it. Yes, it does have tape over it, and then I think it's a slot in. Mm. Entirely sure what type of connector that is. ones that I think Apple use quite a bit where you uh, you line it up right over the top of where it normally would be and then push it down come into the connector rather than rather than pulling it away um, next to it more tape to undo here. It seems to be leaving annoyingly most of the stickiness behind on the screen rather than on the uh, on the tape. That's also stuck down this end onto the bit that says do not touch, so it's going to be fun. We'll come back to that in a moment. Right. 
so it's actually glued up until about that point. When you get to that point, you don't need to pull it upwards anymore. It should just come out as a standard connector. There we go. And uh, for those of you that do want to look stuff up on eBay or Amazon, the panel which was in this laptop is an LTN 173KT02. And that's probably a serial number, I expect. What other identifying numbers does it have on it? This one, yeah, another one, LTN 173KT02-D01. And that's just another serial number, I think. And there we go. That's, uh, that's the display. And obviously, putting it back together, you do the reverse, put the new screen in, being very careful about what's underneath it and scratching it or getting possibly fingerprints all over it. Plug that connector back in, make sure it's taped down. Tape that over the back of that screen again, back where it was. And then when you hinge the screen up and put it into place, make sure you put the webcam connector in, otherwise the webcam will not work. Screw it all back together, clip the front back on, and you're done. Good luck.